Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at the area of a sector when using radians, so we can answer questions from exercise 5D. So, it's uh, just as with the length of an arc, there is a useful quick formula to help us work out the area of a sector when your angle is measured in radians mode. This formula is, we'll go through it really quickly, blah, 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 um, when your angle is measured in radians mode. If your angle is not measured in radians mode, then you can always convert it into radians mode and then use this formula. So in this diagram here we have a minus sector uh, with an area of 28.9 centimeters squared. Given that the angle is 0.8 radians, calculate the value of r, the radius. Okay, so we know the area is equal to half r squared theta. Substitute in the two values that we have, and we can now just rearrange. So r squared is going to equal 72.25. Square root that, and we get 8.5 centimeters. Okay, so a little bit of substituting into a formula there. Okay, so a plot of land uh, is in the shape of a sector of a circle uh, with radius 55 meters. The length of the fencing is needed to enclose the land is 176 metres. Calculate the area of the plot of land. So effectively what we've got here is a sector diagram like this where the whole um, where the whole radius is equal to, so the whole perimeter is equal to 176. So the length of the arc must add up to 66 metres which then makes this um, total perimeter equal um, 176. Uh, from this we can probably work out the theta value by using length equals r theta. So 66 equals 55 uh, theta. So divide by 55 and you get 1.2 radians. So now that we know that this angle here is 1.2 radians, we can now work out the area by using the half r squared theta formula. Substitute your numbers in, and we get an answer of 1,815 meters squared. That's the area for this plot of land. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward in this chapter here. It's just um, using these two formulas here, L equals r theta and A equals half r squared theta. Okay, next question here. You can also work out the area of segments using radians. So in this case here, the area of a segment will equal the area of the whole sector divided by just this triangle here. We've got a formula to work out the area of a sector. It's half r squared theta. And we've got a formula to work out the area of a triangle as well when it's represented in this form here. Um, it's going to be half ab sine c. But A and B are going to both be the radius, so we could effectively write this as A equals half r squared sine theta. In this case here, so could we construct a formula? It's going to be a half r squared theta minus half r squared sine theta. There's a lot of common factors there, so we might as well pull them out. Half r squared, and it's going to be theta minus sine theta when theta is in radians mode. Okay, so this is our formula for the area of a segment, or you don't really have to remember this, you can just remember this and this, and derive the segment as you need it. So, in this case here, let's work out the area of the shaded region below. So in this case here, we can just substitute it into the formula, or work out the sector and the triangle separately, and do one subtract the other. Um, so in this case here, it's going to be 3.125 multiplied by 0 0.1811 dot 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 dot. We get 0 0.57 centimeters squared. <clears throat> All right then, uh, another little tricky question here. Let's read it through. So in the diagram AB is the diameter of a circle radius r 
with angle BOC equals theta degrees in radians. Uh, given that the area of the triangle AOC, the area of the this triangle here, is three times as big as the shaded segment, this segment here, uh, show that three theta minus four sine theta equals zero. Okay, so let's start going through finding the area of the shaded segment. <clears throat> so in this case here, it's going to be half r squared times theta minus sine theta. And the area of the triangle AOC is going to be half AB sine theta. Both the A and the B are going to be R's. And the angle theta, the angle, sorry, <clears throat> in this case here, if that's theta, this is 180 degrees on a straight line. 180 degrees is pi radians, so it's going to be pi minus um, theta. Okay, so it's going to be half R squared sine pi minus theta. But remember that on the sine graph, it's going to be symmetric around the 90 degree point. So when you've got um, sine of pi minus an angle, that's going to be the same as your angle value. Okay, so we can use this rule here to simplify this expression here into half r squared sine theta. Okay, so the next thing for us to do then is show that this statement is true. So we're going to times the shaded segment by 3. So uh, where is that? This is the shaded segment. We're going to times that by 3. So we're going to get half, 3 times half r squared theta times sine theta. And let's rearrange. Let's get rid of the r's. Let's get rid of the divide by 2's. And we'll be left with uh, sine theta equals 3 theta minus sine theta all in brackets. Let's expand those brackets and rearrange <clears throat> to get 3 theta minus 4 sine theta equals 0. Okay, so not too bad in the end. All right, so your turn to have a go at question 7 here then. Pause the video and try this one out. <clears throat> All right, then, let's have a go at this question here then. The arc of a circle AB um, with a radius R uh, such that the angle AOB, AO B is equal to 0.5 radians. Given that the perimeter of the minor sector, so this perimeter here, R, R, 0.5 R, is equal to 30. Calculate the value of R. Simple, that's just 2.5 R equals 30. So therefore, divided by 5, you get 6. Half, uh, double that and you get 12. So R is equal to 12 uh, centimetres. Part B show that the area of the minor sector is 36. So in this case here the formula is half R squared theta. So in this case here it's going to be a half of 144 times 0.5. So that's going to be 144 divided by 4. So in this case, uh, grab a calculator, divide it by 4, and we get 36. That's good. That's made sure that part A is correct as well. Uh, calculate the area of the segment enclosed by the chord AB and the minor arc. So this segment here. Well, we know that the area of the sector is 36, so let's just work out the area of the triangle. So that's going to be half times 12 squared sine 0.5 radians. We'll definitely need our calculator for that. Um, 0.5 times 12 times 12 times sine 0.5. And that gives us 34.519. And then on your calculator, do 36 minus answer button. <clears throat> and we get 1.48 to three significant figures. Uh, and that would be centimetres squared. 
Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to question 5D. Sorry, the question 7 from exercise 5D then. Have a go at plenty of the other questions from exercise 5D um, and uh, persevere through the difficult ones. Choose the problem-solving exam-style questions. And thanks very much for watching.